Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Hello guys, Executo here with another video. Today's gonna be a commentary. So we're gonna be doing some shoulders today. Okay guys, so what I did for my warm up is I did about 30, 35 pounds, and I did the exact same exercise I'm doing currently. As you guys can see, I'm doing my heavy set. So I did my warm up set, I did 30 pound dumbbells, and I did about 12 reps just to get form and get my shoulders all pumped up, kind of. And then I did heavy set of 75 pound dumbbells for about eight, eight reps or nine reps, something like that. And then let's move it on to the working set. So the working sets are going to be two to three sets. Um, I'm doing 45 pound dumbbells here. 45 LBS, whatever you want to call it, 45 pound dumbbells, and I'm tilting my wrist towards my head, allowing for my front delt to be worked a lot more and allow, allow for a lot more burning. And I'm going to be doing a drop set after each working set. So as you guys can see here, 22.5 pound dumbbells, about 8 to 10 reps, you could do 12. This is more for a burn after you do your working set. Now let's move it on to the side delts. We're gonna be doing some side laterals here. What we're doing differently than normal side laterals is we're bending our elbows, allowing us to go heavier in weight, and we're putting our pinky towards the ceiling, allowing for rear delt action to be used when doing this exercise. So you guys will see my rear delts being activated when doing the side delts. And with this exercise that I do personally is I do a whole ton of drop sets. So you're gonna be doing at least four or five drop sets, a lot of drop sets, guys. Um, I started off with 30 pound dumbbells, did about 12 reps, then I did 25 pound dumbbells, did about 10 reps, then I did 20 pound dumbbells, did about eight reps, then I did 15 pound dumbbells, did about the same, I'm pretty sure, eight reps, then I did 10 pound dumbbells, did about like six reps, could barely do anything. Did this for about two to three sets. I don't know if I did three sets. I believe only two sets for this exercise currently because my shoulders were absolutely burning. Um, but this is a great exercise to hit those side delts. Bending the elbows is a different variation of than putting your elbows straight. And a key movement that you guys got to realize when doing this exercise is you got to put the dumbbells all the way up to your ears. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of lacking that. I got to bring the dumbbells a little bit higher all the way up to my ear, and what this allows you to do is more tension on the side delt. Now moving on to the rear delt, guys. This exercise has to be done in many different ways, or can be done in many different ways. So you're going to bend over kind of slightly. You don't want to bend over all the way, but if you don't bend over enough, you're going to be hitting more of that side delt. But you bend over about, you can't really, I can't really say how many degrees, but you guys can see in this video. And what you're going to be doing is bringing the dumbbells as high as you can, um, allowing you to hit, effectively hit that rear delt and you have to be feeling your rear delt work If you don't feel your rear delt working, you're probably gonna be using more of your back Which a lot of people are doing it kind of just squeezes Squeezes the middle of the back and doesn't really hit the rear delt But what I did guys is I did about 14 reps on the flat bench Then I stood up took 10 pound dumbbells and did about 10 reps and the one the dumbbells I used when I was on the flat bench was 15 pounds now here It's not the best quality I could get on this video because we have to get a quick recording but what I did is a pretty much this what this exercise does is hit your front delt in a different way, front and side delt. And what I'm doing here differently than what most people would do is I would bring the dumbbell to the middle of my chest, allowing for my upper chest to work as well as my shoulders. So this would help with the tie-in between the upper chest and the shoulder, which a lot of people do need to get because it's really hard to develop in a muscular body or a bodybuilder, whatever you are. But um, so what I did is I changed my wrist in two ways. You guys saw in the first way. My wrists were pointed down, now my wrists are pointed up. So I did two sets for each of those. About 15 to 20 reps each. Now for this, your shoulder is going to be burning. All right, You can see I'm only using 5 pound dumbbells, not even dumbbells. I'm using just 5 pounds for this cable. This is more for a lot of tension because when you use cable, guys, it's a different movement than dumbbells. Dumbbells is used by gravity. The thing is with cable, it's not... There's no gravity involved. The thing is you could be pulling it from many different directions and there's always going to be tension. So what, well, like I said, tension. That's your key focus here. This is mainly for tension of the shoulders just to get that final burn, that final like everything that's in it. Just use up all your energy, 
as as I said before, pinky up towards the ceiling. Try to bring it as high as possible, allowing for your rear delt to work as well. And now we're gonna be finishing it off, finishing it off with a rear delt exercise. Oh, sorry, I didn't say before, guys. But that last exercise, I did two to three sets as again. Again, and for this exercise, I did two to three sets as well. And you guys can see the way I grabbed it. I grabbed it in kind of a different way than most people would, but it kind of activates the rear delt in a different, different, uh, yeah, different way, pretty much. And what I'm doing right now, as you guys are seeing, is I'm putting my pinky, the side of my hand, on um, those two bars. And what allows it to is to have full tension and full activation of the rear delt. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was my first commentary of the shoulder workout. Uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic.